The following is a presentation of the United Wrestling Network. Championship Wrestling presented by Pro Shingle. It's your weekly look into the action-packed world of the United Wrestling Network. I am Dustin Starr alongside my lovely Maria. We've got a stacked hour of wrestling for you this week featuring talents from not only all over the United States, but from the entire world. That's exactly right. For the next two weeks, we have some returning visitors from Australia. And in this hour, we're going to see D-Man continue his Canadian crusade against Kasai from Down Under. Speaking of returning guests, Will Allday is back after yes. an extremely impressive debut. He's in our main event and will be defending his Reality of Wrestling TV title against Ray Rosas. Ah, come on now. Talent and tenure aside, I'm not sure Ray Rosas even deserves a match or an opportunity like that with his recent behavior, but that's not up to me. It's going to be Allday versus Rosas in the Dave and Buster's match of the week. You know what, Dustin? Let's save that bias for the ring and bias. get to the action. Later, Friendship Farm will be taken on Fidel and Pinks, yes. but first, let's kick things off with a grudge match between Dan Joseph and Ty Matthews' most loyal follower, Dickie Mayer. Come on, Dan. Todd and Andrew, take it away. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Buffalo, New York, weighing in at 192 pounds, Dan Joseph. Dan Joseph, a man of the people. So good to see him back in action. Riding a little wave of momentum. Had a recent victory over JB2, Jamie Beachler, where he debuted that long way down, that big uh, spinning slam. But another war here with Ty Matthews and company. This is gonna be tough opposition for the returning Dan Joseph. Every wave has a crash, Kennelly. It's time for his wave to come down right now. And introducing his opponent, being accompanied to the ring by Ty Matthews from Santa Monica, California, weighing in at 199 pounds, Dickie Mayer. Set for action and I, for one, think that Ty Matthews is sending Dick Dickie Mayer to do his bidding because you know most of all that Dan Joseph wants to get his hands on Ty Matthews after those repeated inflammatory comments, which are what really drove Dan Joseph back to in-ring competition. You call it doing his bidding. Honestly, the fact of the matter is Dickie Mayer is a very smart individual. He knows talent when he sees it, and Ty Matthews is going to take him to the top. You know, if Dan Joseph was with Ty Matthews still, he might be at the top. He might even be a champion here. Who knows? Dickie Mayer knows who he needs to be represented by. Ty Matthews, that man right there, the wonder drug of professional wrestling. A lot of personal history between these two, Dickie Mayer and Dan Joseph, once part of the same faction in pack three. All good things come to an end, Kennelly. Just like your buddy Dan Joseph, tonight may not be his night at all. Look at this, amateur wrestling to kick things off, and Dickie Mayer having to reach for the safety of the ropes. You don't get paid by the hour. Dan Joseph tried to catch him sleeping. Absolutely, Dan Joseph tried to catch him sleeping, right? but Dickie Mayer has great ring awareness. He knew exactly where the ropes were. He got right there and got in that situation. Not even a count of one for Dan Joseph. He's gonna have to work just a little bit harder than that. These two know each other quite well. Trained together. Traveled together. Pack three were the United Tag Team Champions. Much due to the work of Dickie Mayer, who had won the PP3 tournament, Coach Flex at the time, forcing Dickie Mayer to tr trade the trophy in for a shot at the tag team titles. But again, Dan Joseph trying to outshine Dickie Mayer in the early going when it comes to fundamental wrestling. And that's not easy to do, quite frankly, as you mentioned. Absolutely, Dickie Mayer, like I said, he's very, very smart. He's very talented. He understands uh, the manipulation of his opponents, where they're gonna be at their moves and what they're gonna do. And honestly, Dan Joseph may look a little bit crisp right now, but the fact of the matter is, Dickie Mayer is still gonna outsmart this man. Look at him going outside right now, going outside to take a gander. Take a gander right now at Ty Matthews and Dickie Mayer. They are now conferencing, they are having a conversation. They're saying, get back in there, do not let him get in your head. Get back in there and outsmart that man. 
Pools rush in and Dickie Mayer, his body language shows a ton of frustration. On the outside, did not seem hyper optimistic. Seem hyper panicked, hyper frustrated. Hyper prepared is how I like to call it, Kennelly. Remember, he's psyching out his opponent. He's playing mind games uh, with uh, uh, with Dan Joseph. He understands that Dan Joseph, he's, he's, if he's gonna rush in too quickly, he's gonna make a mistake. Just like what I told you right there, Kennelly. Dan Joseph obviously hurt himself in the eye. And, and right now, the referee is not seeing uh, a very crucial moment in this. Uh, Dan Joseph had something in his eye. Ty Matthews comes to take it out of his eye, and unfortunately, Are Dan you Joseph gets hurt the process. That, it's not his fault either. Blatant outside interference. First the eye rake, and now look at this. Driving the forearm and elbow across the face. Turn, parlays that into a pinning opportunity. If a man Ty Matthews see, raking the eye from the outside. If a man can't see, he can't fight, Kennelly. Didn't you ever watch the Karate Kid? I, I don't recall that being part of it. I do remember that being part of Bloodsport, the assault in the eyes during the Kumite. Assault in the eyes of a lot of movies. I'm talking about the Karate Kid. And then never mind, Kennelly. Let's just get back to the action, please. Headbutt to that eye that has been compromised. And again, Dan Joseph, it's hard to hit what you can't see. And that's the challenge that Dan Joseph is facing right now. And now these buzzsaw kicks. Dickie Mayer trained, competed in Japan, in China. He's a lethal striker. Absolutely, very, very strong, very strong striker, very lethal indeed. When you go to Japan, they do not play, uh, they do not play around. You go in there, you hit as hard as you possibly can, and even harder through that. You don't punch your opponent, you punch through them. You don't kick your opponent, you kick through them. And speaking of kicking through, Ty Matthews go there making sure there's no more salt in Dan Joseph's eyes. God bless him. Okay, again, now you can see utilizing the rope to choke, bending if not outright, breaking the rules is Dickie Mayer at this point in the matchup, and I think this this match with Dickie Mayer, a big hurdle that Dan Joseph has to has to leap if he wants to get his hands on Ty Matthews, and now adrenaline can do wonders, and Dan Joseph has had enough. Playtime's over, he's all kinds of fired up. Making that crucial mistake, Kennedy, that's what I was talking about. Here's the cover now. And he almost had him. Dan Joseph is going in there way too, too aggressive. He's going in there with hate in his heart. And as Ty Matthews would tell you, that is not the key to do it. You have to have center. You have to have motivation. You have to have cunning in that mindset. And he doesn't have that. You know why? Because he doesn't have Ty Matthews in his corner. That's why you need Ty Matthews. Now the bootlace is raking the eye as well, continuing just to dish out punishment. And Dan Joseph missing badly in the corner there moments ago. And I'm surprised he kicked out and won because you got to think all the air left his body got caught right in the solar plexus and this offense by Dickie Mayer isn't going to do him any favors. Absolutely. When you hit the when you hit the corner that hard, you're hitting your ribs, you're hitting your internal organs, you're hurting your midsection and you need that. You need that energy, you need that cardio to continue on with the match. The fact that he kicked out at 1-2 is also a crucial mistake. That extra half a second or a second might have helped him kick out earlier. Dickie Mayer has him all kinds of tied up. Dickie Mayer in control. This match returns right after this. Tricky, and so can repairing a roof, but not with Pro Shingle. Complicated insurance claims are easy with Pro Shingle. They'll handle that process for you. Pro Shingle offers free estimates and have financing plans in place so they can help you right now. Be sure to ask about their new roof shampoo. Locally owned and operated, fully licensed and insured, it's the simple choice. Go to ProShingle.com, 901-258-6503, and let Pro Shingle help today. Are you paying too much for your health insurance? Just this year, the United States Tax Cuts and Jobs Act became official and health insurance laws have changed. If you have Obamacare, are uninsured, or are struggling to afford your current health insurance, this could impact you. Call the number on your screen right now to find out how. It's free. New affordable health insurance as well as dental coverage is now available with low copays and deductibles and guaranteed coverage. Top quality health coverage at the lowest prices anywhere. The Affordable Health Insurance Hotline is now accepting calls. Call today. It's free. You may have insufficient coverage or may be significantly overpaying and not even realize it. If you're uninsured or unable to pay for health coverage, make this important call now. It's free. Find out if you qualify for health care, dental coverage, and more that can start immediately. Get all the benefits that you're eligible for. Call 1-800-485-8914. That's 1-800-485-8914. Dave & Buster's is the coolest place to eat, drink, play, and watch WWE Survivor Series. Sunday, November 24th, mention Championship Wrestling and get unlimited video games for the entire night. 
Dave and Buster's Wolf Chase. Welcome back to this contest championship wrestling from Hollywood. Throughout the break, the methodical pace continuing as Dickie Mayer continues to attempt to wear down Dan Joseph. Absolutely, wear down is right. Not only has Dan Joseph ruined his ribs at this point, he is absolutely out of gas, he is out of fuel, and Dickie Mayer further uh, putting punishment on Dan Joseph by wrapping his legs around his neck, possibly even wow. just a little bit under his chin, making sure he gets all that air out of his body, but now Dan Joseph comes back. Look at the heart on display of Dan Joseph, but crumbles back down, and you gotta wonder if that injured knee came into play there, maybe not 100%. In his time away, that's you know one area of his body that he, he couldn't work quite as much because of that injury. Dan Joseph has a lot riding against him right now, not just with his own personal injuries, the injuries that he sustained, not only in this match, but the fact that that man, Ty Matthews, is out there yelling insults at him and making sure he's aware that if he just had his help, he might be able to be on the upper hand right now. But he was too stubborn. Look at that man, a genius at work, an absolute genius. Dan Joseph digging down deep. He's got that fire in his belly. He's got revenge on his mind. Big clothesline cannon there into the cover. Deep hook of the leg. You'll recall as well it was Ty Matthews and Dickie Mayer that eliminated Dan Joseph from the red carpet rumble. That was Dan Joseph's first official uh, entrance back into in-ring competition. Well, you know what, Kennelly, I'm sorry, but 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 in every man for himself situation, what do you expect somebody to do? The, the honest to God truth is there are only going to be one winner, and they understood that. And we're still talking about this red, red carpet rumble thing, but honest to God, the truth of the matter is this shouldn't even be a factor right now. Dan Joseph cannot hold on or cannot hold on to the past any longer because it is crippling his ability to move forward in the future. And now we're on the road, of course, making our way towards Milestone. Big anniversary spectacular. Big shot there by Dan Joseph. And again, you, you know, you talked about the gas tank. What does a lengthy layoff from competition do to you in terms of your win when you get back to competition? People will tell you, cardio is not the same as, as ring cardio. The, the ability to work out, the ability to run, the ability to jog is not the same as going in there night after night and honing your craft. The time that you take off is gonna severely cripple your chances at ever doing good in any match when you come back. And honest to God, the fact that he took that time off, the fact that he got the injury, the fact that he got hurt in this match, the fact that Ty Matthews is out there, everything is going against Dan Joseph at this point. Nice counter there by Dan Joseph. Come up with a pinning combination after that beautiful arm bar by Dickie Mayer. He had that leg and calf in there to apply that added leverage and pressure. But Dan Joseph used gutsy comeback to try and get out of it. Big drop kick, however, by Dickie Mayer. Nearly kicked his head off, Kennelly. This should be it. Going for the cover now. Might have him. Lackadaisical cover. You're not going to put somebody down with the pride like Dan Joseph, and that he has with a cover like that. You gotta be kidding me, that's an absolute embarrassment. Well, keep in mind, it might be an embarrassment to you. What I see it is mind games. He is playing the part. He's showing Dan Joseph, look how lax the days ago I'm gonna cover you, because he doesn't even need to win the match at this point. He's gonna continue punishing him until he beats the crap out of him into submission, and then he's gonna cover him, embarrass him in front of everybody. You go bell to bell with Dickie Mayer. He will put you through hell, and you're seeing it right now. You're just certainly gonna know that you were in a fight, you're gonna wake up sore tomorrow. And all that leverage into that turnbuckle and Dan Joseph goes crumbling down again and the time of possession offensively very much in the favor right now at Dickie Mayer. Absolutely in the favor. You can see the pain. That, did you see the close-up shot of, of Look at that face. Look at that face. Look at the pain in his eyes. Look at the anguish in his soul. Dickie Mayer knows he has Dan Joseph exactly where he wants him, and this crowd is not happy, but he doesn't care because he knows full well victory is just one pin away. And that's really part of that Japanese training you see right there. It's perfect the little things, the little nuances. Take something like a rudimentary move like an Irish wet whip and make it devastating. And that's what you saw Dickie Mayer do right there in that exchange. Dickie Mayer now punishing Dan Joseph even more than he has before. He's putting him now on the ropes, putting all his weight on him, looking at that Ty Matthews, looking, making sure he knows this is for you. This is this is what you have taught me. This is where I'm at. And now slapping, slapping the face of Dan Joseph. And Dan Joseph is not happy. Dan Joseph is coming back, but that could be exactly, exactly how he's predicted it. There's the cover. The fact of the matter is he's getting Dan Joseph mad. He's getting him riled up. He's getting him angry. He's putting him out of the mindset of trying to win. That's what he's doing. He's very smart in that ring. Well, Dan Joseph doesn't respond well to disrespect, and I, I, I agree with you there that perhaps 
Dickie Mayer trying to get into the head and get Dan Joseph out of his game plan, but Dan Joseph has to create some distance. I don't, that's what he's trying to do right here. Keep Dickie Mayer at bay where you can tee off, and that is what Dan Joseph is doing now. He's got something going. Can Dan Joseph turn this thing around? That's the third time that he has hit the turnbuckle with hellacious force and just crumble to the mat. Right in the thorax, the front and back of the thorax. Dan Joseph now getting punished. His lungs are not gonna be able to sustain too much more damage. That's where his air comes from, that's where his cardio, that's where his heart lies, and you cannot keep sustaining that damage and still expect to win the match. Attacking the cardio, attacking the lungs, but you can attack the heart of Dan Joseph. It is absolutely undeniable. Look out here, backslide coming. Beautiful move, run in the feet, is he gonna get him? Momentum takes Dickie Mayer up and over. Inside cradle now, back to the fundamentals. Another close call. Dan Joseph now taking, taking advantage of all of, of Dickie Mayer's mistakes. Down goes Dickie Mayer. A lot of power on display there by Dan Joseph, who has really now come out of the blocks offensively. A, Great offensive onslaught in his own right. Absolutely, these two, these two bulls are locking horns like we haven't seen before. That was a devastating move by, by, by Dan Joseph. Here's the cover now. Looking to put him away as Ty Matthews looks to pour himself into the ring. I'm about pour himself into the ring. He was going there to raise Dickie Mayer's hand. He thought the match was over, obviously, Kennelly. Well, it could have been without the distraction. Oh, big time shot there by Dickie Mayer. Once again, Ty Matthews gets into the head of Dan Joseph. When will this man ever learn? You cannot distract yourself when you're trying to win a match. You absolutely cannot do that. You gotta have your head on a swivel. Look out here now. What? Ty Matthews grabbing the ankle. Did you see Dan Joseph just kick Ty Matthews to the, to, to the floor? Yes, Why did he do I, that? I did, after Ty Matthews interfered. Dan Joseph could have maybe put this thing away a couple times. Flapjack. He might be measuring him. We saw it before that long way down. Can Dan Joseph muscle him up? Turns it into that Mishinoku driver. Look out here. Oh, what? Here is your winner, Dan Joseph. Dan Joseph giving Dickie Mayer a little taste of Japan with that long way down Mishinoku driver. Dan Joseph gets the win and look at the eyes of that man. Doesn't look too confident, not too opportunistic, not too uh, optimistic and more to come your way. Easy for me to say on Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. I'm excited. We are finally out of potty training stages and I feel like I can finally get my furniture back. We need something that's affordable and durable. Quartz furniture is always high quality, plus they come with a Quartz certified guarantee. Get up to 70% off new retail prices and choose from a wide variety of previously leased sofas, bedroom sets, dining sets, and more. Make the smart choice and visit Court Furniture Clearance Center today at our Memphis location or check our inventory online. Mention TV20 and get 20% off. We are the dreamers. We come in a variety of colors. And styles. A variety of sizes. We come in different patterns. And different materials. We are the dreamers. Achieving your dream can take work. I just wanted to do a career. But don't give up. Changing my life. Don't ever give up. Ignore the haters. They didn't believe that I can do it and I just proved them that I can. Independence University. IU is an online college. Education online for a better life offline. So your campus is wherever you want it to be. Take classes when you want to take classes. At IU, you receive the tools you need at no extra cost. Even a brand new laptop and tablet to use in school. You're going to keep that laptop and tablet when you graduate. And IU's career services work really hard to help you get a job. You've got to have dreams. Independence University. Education online for a better life offline. Call 1-800-893-1653. That's 1-800-893-1653. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, weighing in at 191 pounds, the deadly shot, Kasai. 
international star, deadly shot, Kasai. He's wrestled in Japan recently in a slew of submission tournaments in Japan. Guess what? Kasai won them all. Okay, that's fine and dandy, but he has not faced D-Man yet, has he? Absolutely not. This is going to be war, Kennelly. And introducing his opponent, from Balm Beach, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 180 pounds, D-Man Dan Parker. The cocky Canuck, D-Man Dan Parker, seems to have made it a mission to take on top international talent. Got a recent victory over Japan's Shimizu, and now taking on Deadly Shot Kasai. Should be a grappling clinic in this one. Absolutely. You know what? Dan Parker's a very smart wrestler. He's everybody's favorite Canadian. And yes, he's had some international matches. Now listen to this. He's won them all. <laughs> I don't believe he I don't believe he has. <laughs> he's won he's won them all, Kennel. He's won every single one of them. Common opponent between these two. Kasai did compete in championship wrestling from Hollywood on another occasion. Took on professional Peter Avalon and D-Man Dan Parker competing against Avalon in a Recent matchup that was exclusive to Championship Wrestling from Hollywood Houston Edition. If you haven't seen that matchup, you can check it out online. Great contest, as this looks to be as well. Two very well-adapted ground-based grapplers, and you see it here with Deadly Shot Kasai, who has competed all over the globe in Australia, Japan, and here in the United States, taking on Parker. He doesn't have to take a backseat to anybody when it comes to grappling technique. No, absolutely not. And yes, he has a great grappling style. First of all, he's on the ropes. Get him out of there, please. So first of all, he has a great grappling style, and I don't take that away from him. But really, the, the where Dan Parker is, is going to be at a disadvantage is all these idiots in the crowd. Listen to that. Listen to the reaction for Dan Parker. That's not fair. That's, that, that's not, that doesn't vie well for him. And honestly, that's going to get into his head. Well, quite frankly, Dan Parker brings that on himself with his, his words to the faithful here in the Ocean View Pavilion, as he says he's a proponent of uh, trying to make America go away. Make America go away? America as the way it is, I don't blame him for, for, for wanting it to go away. The people here that represent the United States don't represent it well enough. If he knew great Americans like me, not so much you, he might respect America just a little bit more. Ironically, right now, Dan Parker had that version of an Americana, that uh, wrist lock to a grounded opponent. Nice drop to hold takedown now by deadly shot Kasai. Kasai, a, a first damn black belt in North Star Jiu Jitsu. So very dangerous when it comes to submission grappling. Yeah, not only submission grappling, but you gotta figure his strikes are, are lethal too. The man has amazing strikes. Listen to the sound. Of, of Parker's chest as, as he slams on it. And, and if he hit him with that kick, Lord knows what would have happened. Thankfully, Parker was smart enough to get out of the way and now taking control. Parker ate some big strikes, but D-Man countering back by clipping the knee and now going to work, putting the knee on the dissection pan. And head surgeon, D-Man Dan Parker, taking control. Absolutely, he's been in control, Kennelly. He's been in control. Just showing him just how aggressive he can be. You want to take it to me, I'm going to take it to you too. He should never have chopped him. All he did was make him angry. Fisherman suplex, perfectly executed. You might say gets a close call, two count there, near fall. Dan Parker looks a little bit frustrated. If, if, if you look at his face, he looks a little bit angry, a little bit upset, and, and, and that's okay. That, that's going to vie well for him as far as getting him the motivation to put him away a little bit quicker. D-Man has a slew of submission moves as well as we see it here. Really trying to hyper extend the knees. Got that heel hook as well. Countered nicely by Kasai, looking for a leg lock of his own, and Parker quickly getting to the ropes. You know, Kasai, as being experienced as he is, I'm a little bit surprised he didn't bring him out to the middle of the ring just a little bit more so that Parker didn't have the advantage of getting to those ropes. He made a vital, pitiful mistake. And honestly, Dan Parker is going to take advantage of that. You do not turn your back on a man like Dan Parker. Great striking, great grappling, great back and forth seesaw matchup. Two will match opponents looking for that fisherman again. Inside cradle by Kasai looking to take advantage with fundamentals. Swinging and missing. 
D-Man was punching at ghosts. Oh, absolutely. D-Man was punching in the air there. And, and Kasai now taking advantage of that, of that mistake by D-Man, now punishing D-Man for his mistakes. But you know what? D-Man, if he has one opportunity to turn it around, he'll turn it right back around. And there it is. There's the opportunity, Kennedy. Kiss him goodbye. This is the end. Nice counter into that leg lace takedown, dragon screw, leg whip, but call it what you will, but call it effective. Transition beautifully right into the STF. Center Kasai's in, in trouble. Kasai taps. Here is your winner, Demon Dan Parker. Quiet down, Dinkle Dorks! Listen up, Dinkle Dorks! It doesn't matter if you're from down under. It doesn't matter if you're from the land of the rising sun. And I'll gringo loco or a stupid Dinkle Dork American. Because at the end of the day, it will always be a Canadian. Standing tall! Sorry! D-Man Dan Parker always can talk the talk, but in this matchup, he backed it up. He can walk the walk as well. More coming your way on Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. Welcome back to the studio. We are in the Court Lounge, and during the month of November, you can buy one, get one free. Wait. What? On furniture? Yes, that's exactly right. Only for the month of November. 6400 Shelby View Drive in Memphis. That's buy one, get one free for November. But every day you can save up to 70% off. Wow, don't believe us. Go ahead and give them a call. Tell them Championship Wrestling sent you. That's 901-365-2560. And if you're just now joining us, you've missed some hard-hitting action as well as some classical technical wrestling. Shout out to those watching on YouTube Premiere. Stay with us. There's plenty more to come. That was a very aggressive opening bout between Dickie Mayer and Dan Joseph. Ty has definitely gotten under Dan Joseph's skin with his fake positivity. And today, Dickie Mayer took the brunt of those frustrations. Wait, fake positivity? Don't you mean hyper optimism? Dan wants nothing more than to get his hands on Ty Matthews. And I hope Nico Marquez is listening because the fans at home, the fans in the arena, and heck, even us right here in the studio are dying to see that matchup. Matthews brought Dan's family into this. Make it happen, boss. We also saw some great back and forth action between Kasai and Dan Parker with D-Man picking up another win. The precise strikes of Kasai had the Canadian loudmouth reeling, but the slick technical style of D-Man was too much for the Aussie this week. Well, I hate to change the mood, but I've just gotten word in a little note that Ray Rosa says he knows he can win. He just doesn't care if he does or not because he thinks that Booker T will treat him with the same disrespect as championship wrestling. That's exactly what I meant when I said that he does not deserve that match, Maria. Easy, killer, easy. Remember, he's not challenging any slouch. No. He's got to get through Will all day first. Good luck. And that matches our Dave & Buster's match of the week. Friendship Farm in action when we return. Yes. Stay tuned. This is a paid advertisement for legal services. Attention. In the past year, juries have decided that Roundup Weed Killer caused plaintiffs to develop non-Hodgkin's lymphoma cancer. If you or someone you know were exposed to the Weed Killer Roundup in a commercial setting and later developed non-Hodgkin's lymphoma cancer, call us right now. You may be entitled to financial compensation. Rely on Group will connect you with an attorney who can help determine if you have a case. Call now, 800-232-1374. We are the dreamers. We changed the world because we don't give up iu can help you live your dream iu is an online college so your campus is wherever you want it to be take classes when you want to take classes you receive the tools you need at no extra cost even a brand new laptop and tablet to use in school call iu then tell them your dream call 1-800-604-0483 that's 1-800-604-0483 Attention current and future Medicare recipients. If you have recently enrolled in Medicare, or if you will enroll in original Medicare within the next few months, you may be eligible to get extra benefits such as dental, vision, hearing, and prescription drug coverage included in your plan. You may be eligible for an all-in-one Medicare plan with hospital, medical, and prescription drug coverage, 
combined together in a single plan that may include extra benefits such as hearing, dental, and vision for one affordable payment or in some cases a $0 monthly plan premium regardless of your income. Medicare Enroll America will help you shop plans to find affordable prices and the right coverage for you even if you're already enrolled in Original Medicare. Are you eligible for a Medicare Advantage plan and possibly a $0 monthly premium regardless of pre-existing conditions? Call 1-800-274-0105 to speak with a licensed insurance agent now. Call 1-800-274-0105. Dave & Buster's is the coolest place to eat, drink, play, and watch WWE Survivor Series. Sunday, November 24th, mention Championship Wrestling and get unlimited video games for the entire night. Dave & Buster's, Wolf Chase. Showered by bills? It's raining cash at 745 Cash. Title loans, payday loans. I got $400. I got $2,500. And they even gave me $2 bills. I'm not a customer, but I referred my brother and got $100 referral cash. Why go anywhere else? We'll buy your loan from any competitor. Just go to 745cash.com and get started now. Go for the gold with a golden title loan. 745 Cash. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first... Being accompanied to the ring by Kid Isaac and Super Beetle, the team of Sweet Robin Shaw and Gentleman Jervis, the Friendship Bar. Oh, I think they're cultivating some new members down there in the Friendship Farm, accompanying Gentleman Jervis and Sweet Robin Shaw. Super Beetle out there as well. Interesting stuff as always. Boo! Get that sour look off your face. Boo! How can you be in a bad mood when the Friendship Farm come to town? Every single time they come to town, I get in a bad mood. These clowns are making a mockery of this ring. Oh my goodness, I hope it was reinforced. And introducing their opponents at a combined weight of 475 pounds, the team of Pinks and Fidel Bravo! And I, for one, am glad that Super Beetle is out there flanking the Friendship Farm because last time these two teams met, some nefarious tactics, to say the least, out of Fidel and Pinks. You call it nefarious all you want. I call it smart. That's good ring wrestling ability. The fact that Super Beetle is out here, what is he going to do? He's an unfair advantage. He has no business being out here. He has absolutely no purpose in this building. Kick him out of here and squash him like the pest that he is. Just out there for some moral support. Cheap shot by Fidel. Went for the leg kick there on the big man. And Pinks and Fidel all over sweet. Robin Shaw going to give the gentle giant a nasty disposition in a hurry. Bull rushing in was Shaw. Tag is made. Now we see some double teaming here by the Friendship Farm. Double teaming is right, Kennelly. This is not fair. It's not right. They have to the count of five. It's been seven or eight by now. Get him out of there. They've got five seconds to work with. Uh-oh, look out here. Might be tickle time. Quiet, please. Oh, vicious chop. Vi what? What? That's a vicious chop, Kennelly. What are we talking about here? Why do you why do you encourage behavior like this? This is a disgrace. It's embarrassing. I call it like I see it. Gentleman Jervis creating some distance. Beautiful drop toe old takedown. And, and lately, you have to at least admit this, we've seen more agility and athleticism out of Jervis than ever before. Well, yeah, because he's compared, to, he's compared to Robin Shaw. Anybody can look at, uh, anybody can look like they have agility next to him. When you talk about five seconds, maybe he had an eight second ride there, a little rodeo by Gentleman Jervis. Big shot upstairs by Fidel. You got him where you want him. Cover him, get this out of here. Get him out of here. Oh no, no, good decision. Punish him some more. Tag in Pinks, here we go. Now the punishment comes. Now the big man is in there. Now he's gonna get squashed. Boom, that's it. You might as well call him a fork. He is done, baby. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide from that splash because Fidel had the leg grapevined. And gentleman Jervis eating the full brunt of that splash by Pinks, who continues to get himself into great shape. Big man, more dangerous than ever. Absolutely very angelic. We say this 
Week after week, Pinks is, is, is shedding the pounds, but he is gaining the strength. He's gaining the momentum. He's gaining the agility. Pinks is becoming more and more sound wrestler every single time I see him, and he is dangerous. Look at that. Look at that. Shot right to the face of Jervis. Get him out of there. There you go. Cover him. Cover him. That's it. There it is, Kenley. It's over. It's over. Jervis took that extra couple seconds to high-five Kid Isaacs on the outside, and it cost him. Was having a little too much fun. Nothing fun about running into a big shot by Pinks. We we'll see more of that momentum, similar to what we saw out at Dickie Mayer, using that leverage and momentum into the Irish whip. Gentleman Jervis goes crashing down. Absolutely, Gentleman Jervis goes crashing down. And it might be tickle time, Kennelly. It might be tickle time. What are you talking about? I don't know. You said it earlier. Went in Rome. You didn't quite use it at the right time there. Sweet, Robin Shaw checks it, how about that cross body? He took the big man down, took down Pinks with a single shot. Look out here, looking to follow up. Oh, what a leg drop, total eclipse. Things going dark for Pinks. Near fall, close call. I'll be honest, Kennelly, anytime a man that size jumps on you, I mean, you, you know, you, you might as well become a pancake at that point. The fact that Pinks kicked out is very surprising to me. I was just a little bit worried. What is Super Beetle doing up there? Well, I, what think, I think Shaw tried to <laughs> tried to tag him in. I, I don't believe this is uh, Freebird rules. And now he, he ran right into that horn. Uh, almost uh, impromptu Beetle Buster, but Shaw still looks to be in control of his faculties, at least for the moment. Now gets throttled by Pinks. That choked to sleep. The big man getting rocked. There it is, Kennelly. Cover. Fidel and Pinks do it again. Again. Here are your winners, Pinks and Fidel. Bravo! Fidel and Pinks get the victory. Let's take a look at, back at how this happened. The replay brought to you by Middle Kingdom Wrestling's Bash at the Bay in Shenzhen, China, coming up featuring our very own Rock Nest Monsters. Go to at MKW China on Instagram for details. We see the miscommunication. Super Beetle up there on the corner. Shaw thought he could tag him in. The misdirection, the miscommunication, and of course, Fidel and Pinks, ever the opportunists, take advantage and get the victory. That's a bit of a uh, hard hug there for, for Super Beetle for his efforts. Fans at home, I'm here with Howdy Price and Ranchero Rogelio, who next week will be challenging Watts for the Hollywood Heritage Championship. But to get that rematch, one of the stipulations is that you have to put that mask on the line, and if you lose, you have to unmask yourself. What made you take on such a bold stipulation for this particular match? Yeah, you know what? I got a question too. Yeah, what what made you make that bold decision, huh? What's the purpose of how did Price be in your corner if you think that you're smart enough to make decisions on your own? Because you ain't. And that just proves it. Because we are so deep in this mess that I'm going to have to be the one shoveling us out of it. Huh? <laughs> Howdy Price does not do business that way. Howdy Price thinks smart. Sure, it did get him the match, but I'll tell you what, you could get someplace quicker by sticking a rocket up your keister, or you could just take things slow. And that's exactly what Howdy Price is doing because you see me still walking with my cool strut. And next week, he ain't losing that mask. You don't want him losing that mask. You want to sleep? You don't want him to lose that mask. And we're taking that belt back to the price check ranch, and you are going to get a nice branding. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like there's a rift in the Howdy Price Ranchero Rogelio camp. But for now, don't go anywhere. We've got more action coming up. Howdy. We are the dreamers. We come in a variety of colors and styles. A variety of sizes. We come in different patterns. And different materials. We are the dreamers. Achieving your dream can take work. I just wanted to do a career. But don't give up. Changing my life. Don't ever give up. Ignore the haters. They didn't believe that I can do it and I just proved them that I can. Independence University. IU is an online college. Education online for a better life offline. So your campus is wherever you want it to be. Take classes when you want to take classes. At IU, you receive the tools you need at no extra cost. Even a brand new laptop and tablet to use in school. You're going to keep that laptop and tablet when you graduate. And IU's career services work really hard to help you get a job. 
You've got to have dreams. Independence University. Education online for a better life offline. Call 1-800-893-1653. That's 1-800-893-1653. Mom, thank God you're going to be okay. I'm so relieved. But you both should know when my time comes. I have a final expense policy. Is final expense the life insurance policy that helps loved ones pay for funeral expenses and other debts? Bill and I called to get more information. Yes, and there's an immediate payout of up to $30,000. The Silver Care Life Plan will pay up to $30,000 for funeral and other final expenses. Your rate will never increase and your benefits can never be decreased. Your coverage can never be canceled. Call now. There is no medical exam. Your approval is guaranteed. Speak with an experienced advisor to see how final expense coverage can help you. Make the call now. There is no obligation. I'm going to call today. Ask about the free prescription discount card. I'm oh, so glad you'll be taken care of. Call 1-800-339-8165. That's 1-800-339-8165. tell you all about Black Friday at Saddle Creek. I can't believe next Friday is already Black Friday. I can't either, but I can't wait to shop. I know. Shops at Saddle Creek is your one-stop shop for all of your gift needs. They'll have extended hours on Black Friday from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. and they have unique stores you won't find anywhere else. Check them out in Germantown and on social media at Shops at Saddle Creek. It's time for the Dave and Buster's Match of the Week. Come watch WWE Survivor Series tomorrow night at Dave & Buster's. Mention Championship Wrestling and get unlimited video games for the entire night. Let's head back to Reza. Main event time on Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. And Ray Rosas, a former United Wrestling Network television champion, but he's got a shot to become the reality of wrestling television champion in this main event. Well, it's time to face reality, Kennelly. There's your new champion, Ray Rosas. He's here. You look at the intensity. Look at him eyes. He knows. He's like, hey, I got my opportunity back. I'm climbing the mountain. This is it for me, the new champion, Kennelly. Intensity sat on the entrance ramp on his way out. He still has that who cares mentality. Will he better care because the champ is dangerous. There you see the reality of wrestling television champion Will All Day. We saw firsthand how impressive this champion is at a successful title defense right here in championship wrestling from Hollywood, taking on none other than young Fuego Adrian Quest. What a match that was. Absolutely, and you know what? Ray Rosas is no young Frito, but I think he's going to be able to hold his own against Will all day. It just might be that attitude. You don't, you don't see the, the positivity in, in Ray Rosas right now. It doesn't matter who the champion is right now. It matters who's going to go home the champion. Ray Rosas, that man right there. You can see the intensity in his eyes. He looks rowdy. He looks hungry. He looks excited. I can't wait to see Ray Rosas in action. Oh, sure. That's intensity personified here to set the stage for our championship main event. Ring announcer, Adnan Qureshi. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the reality of wrestling television championship. <laughs> Introducing first the challenger from Antelope Valley, weighing in at 191 pounds, Ray Rosas. Introducing the champion from Houston, Texas, weighing in at 185 pounds, he is the reality of wrestling television champion, Will Alday. Good look at the champion, Will Alday. Trained by Hall of Famer Booker T. Fighting out of Houston, Texas. Great, at, oh, look out here. Ray Rosas taking the cheap shot 
and the champion lands badly on the unforgiving floor of the Ocean View Pavilion. What the heck was that all about? Not a good way to start, Kennelly, turning your back on your opponent, especially when you're the champion. Not a very good way to start at all. Ray Rose is now gonna take advantage of it. Put a quick end to him, Ray Rose. Show the world that you are ready, that you deserve this opportunity, that you are hungry for the next challenge. Oh, the into game. the stairs, hard and heavy. The champion hasn't even gotten his jacket off. Very, very punishing, very menacing is Ray Rosas. Look at the pain in Will All Day's mouth right now. Look at him, he's holding his mouth open, he's in anguish, his eyes are in tears. He knows he's, a, he's, he's in trouble already early goings in this match. This is ridiculous, a whole lot of extracurricular. This match hasn't even officially begun, I don't believe. Which is why it's perfectly okay to choke your opponent on the outside, Kelly. There are no rules until that bell sounds. Oh no, now into the post. And the champ might be completely out before this thing even officially gets underway. And now just sitting there, nonplussed. Nonplussed, no, that's not it. He's thinking, Kennelly, he's thinking. He's, he's planning his next move, he's plotting his next idea. Ray Rosas is going in there like an animal, like a beast, like a savage, like a freight train. Ready to put the boots to Will All Day. Well, he's not gonna get an opportunity. Oh, Will All Day got a little something left. Fighting fire with fire, look at this. Where is the champion finding this? Was looking for a tornado DDT. Oh, it gets dropped right on the apron. Ah, uh, yeah. Could you imagine what would happen if he if he planted Ray Rosas on his head? Not only would that end of the match, but it might even end Ray Rosas' career. But he's not shaking, he's not phased. He's definitely not gonna let anybody get in his head. He's gonna slam him down on the apron, go right back into the ring. Now the bell goes, let's get it on. And now you gotta fire it up. Will All Day, who was able to weather that initial storm and is just attacking now with reckless abandon. Full mount into the ground and pound after the antics by the challenger. Ray Rosas, oh, what a throw into the corner. Chucked him out like yesterday's garbage, Kennelly. That's the mentality of Rosas. Look at him, I can't understand what he's saying, but it's something like, I'm ready, I got my groove back, I'm excited to be here. I think that's what he said. I'm sure he's saying I got my groove back. Yep, those are the words. Those are exactly what was going through his mind. I'll tell you what Rosas, with this new attitude, can do though, and that's, that's lure you into a false sense of security. That's why Will All Day turned in his back and, and before the opening bell, and again, charged in and ate that big belly-to-belly -belly throw. Now, Ray Rose is starting to show why he's such a decorated former champion. You think that Ray Rosas comes in here week after week saying, who cares, who cares, who cares? And honestly, yes, the people have turned their back on Ray Rosas. Ray, Ro Ray Rosas feels betrayed not only by the fans, but by the company in question. But think about this. Ray Rosas is using that sense of security, like you said, Kennelly. Turn your back on Ray Rosas. Make the man think he doesn't care about what you're going to do. But then what does he do? He goes out and he punishes you. And he makes you sorry for ever doubting his creative uh, control. And... Ray Rosas right now is taking advantage of Will all day. Rosas with the sleeper hold after viciously attacking the cranium of the champion early, sending him into the steps, into the ring post, and now tried to put him away with a time-tested finisher, that sleeper, but Will all day continues to fight back. Will all day, a former football player out of Rice University who's a receiver, this guy can go four quarters. He'll take the fight to you, but right now, a side rush and leg sweep, making every move count, no wasted motion for Ray Rosas, the challenger. Absolutely not, but Ray Rosas now looking dead into the eyes, dead into your eyes, saying, look at me, look at your new champion. But making a pivotal mistake there now, Will O'Day now taking back advantage. This is a back and forth, Kennelly, an absolute back and forth. Will O'Day is very smart, and Ray Rosas is very cunning. This is going to be a barn burner. Both champion and challenger are down. Who will get the upper hand? when this television title matchup continues right after this break. Are you over the age of 50 and considering buying an annuity in the next 60 days? I have some important news for you. Don't buy an annuity until you understand the pros and cons of annuities. Call now for this free book on maximizing your income in retirement. Annuity do's and don'ts for baby boomers from leading financial firm J.D. Milberg. That's right, free. This book reveals little-known truths about annuities in simple-to-understand terms. Grab a pen right now because we're about to offer you this free book that unlocks the five little-known truths we believe baby boomers and seniors should know before buying an annuity. And it's free. Call 800-715-6903.
As a bonus, we'll also throw in a free annuity rate report. We researched numerous products and summarized rates and benefits of annuities, all from Sentinel Security Life Insurance Company. Call 800-715-6903. Severe weather can mean storm damage to the roof of your home. If you have a leak and need a repair, need a brand new roof, or just need a simple cleaning, let Pro Shingle help today. Go to ProShingle.com or call 901-258-6503. Championship Wrestling is back! Oh yeah! Just like the good old days, catch the hottest pro wrestling in the 901 every Saturday at noon on CW30. Championship Wrestling presented by Pro Shingle is the fastest hour in professional wrestling featuring the stars of the United Wrestling Network, the NWA, and so much more. No one is safe. Stay up to date at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com and we'll see you on Saturday. Welcome back, everyone, to our main event for the Reality of Wrestling television title. This has turned personal ever since that sneak attack by the challenger. This thing getting very, very fiery, very physical. And look at Rosas going to the eyes. He knows every trick in the book. He knows every trick in the book. He is a master of them all, too, Kennedy. Make no mistake about it. Like I said, the man is method- methodical. He understands exactly what he needs to do to pull off a win, and he's going to do it. You know why? Because he has that championship mentality. He has that understanding that he's going to be the next big, big thing in championship wrestling from Hollywood, and he's going to prove all these idiots wrong here today. Rosas, former tag team title holder several times over, certainly doesn't play well with others currently with his current attitude. Cover now after the short drop kick, Rosas taking control of this main event matchup. And that was not just a cover, Kelly. That was a message. That was a message to every single person watching in the back. It's a message to every single person watching at home. Look into my eyes. Look what I'm capable of. Look at how I'm going to take it to my opponent. That's who I am. Try and look on the bright side. Maybe if Ray Rosas wins the reality of wrestling television title, maybe he'll take his bad attitude to Houston and get out of here. I don't know about you, Kenley, but I've seen this man turn around. You could tell by his attitude coming in here. He was excited. He was he was ready to he was ready to compete. He has a fire under him like I've never seen before. Give credit where credit is due. Not that I would wish that on our great fans watching on uh, ABC 13 in Houston, Texas. Ray Rosas now taking it out to Will All Day. He's taking his attitude and and he's putting uh, Will All Day right in front of his car and he's driving over him. Even though if Will All Day takes advantage of Ray Rosas like he's doing now, it doesn't matter. Ray Rosas knows where he's going to be next. It's what's going to happen next where Ray Rosas is focused. Ray Rosas taking a ride up and over. Hits the canvas on the way down. And Will All Day, he can fly with the best of them. A great athlete. Look at that. A wide receiver. Tearing a big time suicide dive, tearing down the house literally here in this main event. Our house is literally coming down at the seams, Kennelly. This is insane, and again, going for more. Second consecutive suicide dive, and Rosas likes to sit on that stage. Well, now we can do it the hard way. <laughs> Listen to these fans right behind Ray Rosas, hoping he gets up and he can safely recover. God bless you, Ray Rosas. We're all behind you, buddy. Speak for yourself. Will All Day going up top. He loves that big senton, although is the challenger not in position for that right now, so calling the audible is the former gridiron great. Big time super kick, Rosas is out. Well, that was close call, hand was coming down for three. When titles are on the line, Kennelly, you, you reach down in a place you never thought before possible. That's what Ray Rosas is doing. He's pulling out all the stops. He's not gonna get finished that easily. He has a lot of fight left inside of him. Little sunset flip, doesn't elect to go for the cover, creating distance, now schoolboy roll up, nope. Again, back and forth, both champion challenger jockeying for position. Who's gonna get the better of this scramble? Big shot up the top, he calls that the autograph, that big flying knee. Now puts the exclamation point on it with the brain buster, stringing together the offense as the champion, here we go, no, not yet. That was close, Kennelly, a little closer than I'd like to, to, to admit. Ray Rosas might be in a little bit of trouble, and this crowd is firmly behind Will all day, and that's gonna damage Rosas more. But Rosas, he has to find in that little bit of strength that he has left, pull himself out of this funk, you're only inches away from defeat, and know that the next pivotal move is very important. He's lethal with the knee. You see that, that knee pad. I think he's you know trying to size him up for that autograph, that running knee. Get a little more distance behind it this time, but nice counter by Rosas, standing switch. 
Looking for it again. Big German suplex with the release. And follows it up with a super kick. Fireworks show type action here into the cover. Count of two back and forth, seesaw. Ray Rosas almost had it. He was inches away from victory as he was inches away from defeat not too long ago. This is back and forth like I've never seen. And this, this crowd is absolutely going nuts right now. Look at the eyes of Rosas. Look at what he has to do. He's saying to himself, what do I have to do next to put this man down for good? Ray Rosas, find it in yourself. You are almost there, buddy. Almost there as walking away the new champion. You're supposed to be neutral. You're a broadcaster. You're a journalist. I'll remind you of that. Great battle. Very physical. And Rosas, so dangerous with that elbow drop, maybe a little method to the madness here. <sighs> Kennelly, I am trying to, 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 to neutralize the crowd. The crowd is obviously behind Will all day, who's now getting up because of Ray Rosas now looked at the crowd. You see what I'm talking about? That's why I have to do what I have to do. Somebody needs somebody in the corner. The crowd, a big help for Will all day, a hindrance perhaps for the challenger. Ray Rosas, pivotal point in the matchup, precarious position for both. This next move is going to be pivotal, Kennelly. This is going to be all the marbles. Get distance away from you, Rosas. Get distance away from you and then strike. Don't worry about the crowd. Yeah, Rosas was trying to silence the crowd and eats that big takedown. Head scissors, well, Hurricane Rana. And that created the distance that Will Aldean needs for that autograph knee. There it is. He's got him dead to rights. Signed, sealed, delivered. Gets him. Here is your winner, and still, Reality of Wrestling Television Champion, Will Alden! This instant replay is brought to you by Dave & Buster's. Don't forget, tomorrow, Survivor Series Watch Party. It's free to watch. Mention Championship Wrestling and get unlimited video games for the entire night. Dave & Buster's, Wolf Chase. The super kick by Ray. Back and forth action, both pulling out their heavy artillery. But Ray, Rosas, the crowd cost him. He tried to silence him. He eats that head scissors, creates the distance, and there you see it. That big autograph knee that signed, sealed, and delivered another successful title defense for that man, Will All Day. What a way are we going to kick it back into high gear next week. How are we going to answer this incredible main event? How about next week when the Hollywood Heritage title is on the line? But that's not all. The challenger, Rogelio, puts his mask on the line. The mask on the line. The Heritage title on the line of what? That coming your way next week. We'll see you next time. Thank you for joining us again this week for another fantastic hour of pro wrestling. Super Beetle was back in the house this week, much to the delight of the fans and the Friendship Farm until an overzealous celebration and a little bit of confusion cost Robin and Jervis the match. There is going to be some major tension among friends after that, but I'm confident a few hugs can sort that all out. Let's hope so. Fidel and Pinks have got a nice little win streak going too. Could be contenders for the United Tag Team title. As for our main event, I'm not sure what clicked and made Rosa start to actually care, but once he did, he had Will all day rocking and rolling. I have to admit, a bit of bad attitude and disdain for the fans in the arena ended up costing Rosa's after a wild main event, and Will all day is still the reality of wrestling TV champion. What a way to end this week's episode. We here in Memphis can't get enough of Will all day and hope to see him back defending that title on this program again. Oh, we will. Before we go, <laughs> we'd like to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving this week, and we hope you join us tomorrow at Dave & Buster's for our Survivor Series watch party. It's free! Yeah, and next week for a massive main event between monsters, Watts puts his Hollywood Heritage title up against Ranchero Rogelio's mask. Oh, man. Something that you don't want to miss. See you next week. Yeah.